to the eastern aqueducts of art and frogs, precariously exploring the dense forests of the west full of ninja, and even to the southern fronts of deserts and hardship. We find ourselves right here, amidst these four directions, there is a center, an amalgamation of triumphs and victor, just before a heavy metal door. What secrets do these containments keep from the prying eyes? A story, a lore, and a finale so sought after that we tremble with anticipation. Come along as we breach the veil of secrets in this grand finale of Hyperlight Drifter. Welcome back to GDs and thank you for clicking on the channel and thank you for checking out the grand finale video of Hyperlight Drifter. We have been playing this game for the better part of about eight to nine episodes as well as a really long live stream that lasted about three hours. And we have finally come to the pinnacle of this series, the very center of these four directions. Like I was mentioned before, the misty tops of the northern weren't so bad, but very aesthetic to the eastern fronts of the frogs where honestly the boss was actually kind of easy. It was, it was a little bit, it was kind of a, it was kind of a starter area. The western front of the of the trees got very very lost honestly did not really find all the cores either it's, it's kind of hard to discover stuff down there and the southern fronts where the bosses were very plentiful we had to verse i think like four or five different bosses in the southern front and it was it, it took many attempts many many attempts but today we really are at the grand finale of this game we are sitting right here in the middle we have no idea what is about to be unlocked i have no idea about the what is the conclusion of the story that this game has been telling us we haven't gotten any dialogue we haven't gotten any text on screen everything is all environmental storytelling all through illustrations and all through combat so what is it that it holds from us i have no idea but i'm glad that you guys are right here along with me so enough talk enough jibber jabber and enough just yammering on why don't we go ahead stay silent and press this e button and go on to the new fronts and see what's in store for us let's get started And down below we go, into the depths. Ooh, I have no idea what's expecting us here. It's, I, I hope we're gonna, yep, I hope we're gonna get a little bit of an animation or something. Is it a brand new world? Is it gonna be a big boss battle? I don't know. Okay, and here we are. Um, immediately, I love the aesthetic. I love the atmosphere. I love the feeling of just anticipation that something is about to happen. And the music in the background, the the general ambiance of all the lights and the purple glow. It's gonna be. Oh, I, I, I didn't even mean to even go walking off there. I guess we got some invisible pathing here. It, oh God, I'm bleeding. We, we, there's something coming and I, I am excited. We have been playing this game for the better part of like a week now, week and a half, and I'm excited. I can't believe I've never had the, the opportunity to really play this all the way. It, I'm, okay. I'm not the only one seeing that, right? There's, there's something like, I just saw it there off to the left again. Hang on. There's something like popping into existence around here. And I don't know how to feel about that. Let's explore around a tiny bit. Just want to make sure that we're not going to be missing any like large extra pieces of lore or secrets around here. But in the style of the game, there are secrets everywhere. Although they may just kind of forego that in general because it is the finale in the final area. Maybe they won't even really bother with it. But I'm going to keep an eye out. Can't really seem to break any of these. I, okay, I'm seeing these everywhere. I, I'm seeing these out of the corner of my eye. They're here for like a frame, like a single frame. They're popping into existence. And it's making me kind of antsy or not antsy. It's making me, well, in general, just nervous. I guess we just keep on traveling down below. I mean, I'm keeping my eye out. Not really a whole lot of extra things I can pick on here. I just got to enjoy the atmosphere and just keep on moving down. So with that being said, honestly, I'm probably just going to stop talking here. I'm just going to let you guys experience this along with me because I want to experience it for what it has. And I want you guys to experience it for what it is. Let's go.
no god okay i think okay yep this this is actually the boss part we you know i don't even care if this episode only ends up oh jesus christ how the hell do you dodge that well i'm gonna go ahead and lay off my rail can i dodge across it no not really not really heal up heal up heal up okay let's get out of here i i don't know how to dodge it maybe just get behind him i, I don't have any enough ammo okay i oh my god okay um <laughs> Look, I wasn't expecting it to beat this on the first try, but my god. Okay, he has a plethora of attacks. That giant laser ability, we seem to... You can't dodge across it. You need to, look, just kind of get out of the way, get behind him. He has that spike ability, it seems, as well. That goes off several times. Oh, boy. Okay, let's get a few shots in before he has a chance to kind of really activate anything. Yep. Oh, okay, yep. He definitely has a slam ability. Ooh, I can dodge through those with my... With my with my nothing apparently with my uh with my dead body you know what maybe just a duck and cover underneath it <laughs> my gear just got the right choice just lay down bad on, just flat on the ground just just play dead just play dead you know this episode still might end up being maybe about the average of like 16 minutes because it's gonna take me a number of tries to even try to get anywhere with this he's gonna dash at me yep okay he's gonna lay off some yep some projectiles and dash through them to do to block them lay off a shot dash through them Okay, get behind, get behind, get, get a few shots in. Nice. I may as well throw a grenade. It didn't even reach him. Ooh, and I'm missing my grenade. Anyway, he's laying off some spikes. Nice. Get a few shots in. Um. Okay, I, I guess I gotta, I gotta go hit these. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I mean, I had no idea that's about to happen. Oh, God. He's got several strikes in a row as well. Just dodge through them. Use my ability to apparently die just a little bit faster. So, oh, welcome to the Digital Dave channel. Uh, you know, hey, if you like what you see, if you like the gameplay in general, which <laughs> at this point, you know, I'm I'm trying my best. But if you are enjoying the video, if you like the dialogue at the very start, then by all means, please like the video, subscribe for more, and all that fun stuff because I've been having a grand old time making content here on the channel and uh Oh boy, this is, uh, I think the only real way I can put it is, this is a real doozy. <laughs> you know? All right, I'm just going to try to rush up immediately, get a few shots in before he has a chance to kind of dash strike me. Yep, get out of the way, get out of the way. He's about to lay off some projectiles. Dash through them, get out of the way of his giant laser. Might be a good chance to lay off my own laser. Nice, nice. Yeah, he's not even going to reach me with that. He's coming after me though. I'm going to take a few shots with that. Ooh, okay, okay. Okay, I need to take these out, I suppose, from a distance. They're about to blow up. Okay, okay, get away, get away, get away. Ooh, camera, work with me here. Work with me here, camera. Ooh, okay, heal up, heal up, heal up. I don't even want to get down to a couple of hit points because he does like two damage with most of his shots anyway. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. Yeah, once you get knocked down by that laser, there really isn't a whole lot you can do from that point. You are kind of just dead. Either you can't really get out of the way. Like, once you're knocked down, you are knocked down. So you kind of just have to just make sure you don't get hit by it regardless. He seems to be kind of slow. That's fine. Okay, he's going to lay up a few, dodge through them, and then get out of the way of his laser. I, I, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Let's just go ahead and waste up a med kit right now. While I have the opportunity, lay off my, my own laser sorts from a distance. Nice. Okay, can I lay off my shot here? Yes, I can. That actually got rid of one of them. I mean, honestly, I don't really need to take care of those, but they do give me back ammo. So it is kind of nice. He's going to double strike. Yeah, he's going to dash and then dash again. Nice. Get a few hits in. Get out of the way. Projectiles. Laser. Get a few hits since he's not going to double laser, right? Ow, ow, what am I being hit by? What am I being hit by? Uh, make it, make it, make it. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. While he's doing that ability... Ah, <laughs> yeah, double hit again. Not a real a whole lot you can do. I'm going to use another mech hit. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Blow you up. Blow you up. Hit you away. Stay out of the range of that last one. Ooh, wow. Okay, he's already down to a quarter health. Um... I'm low on I'm low on ammo. Can't really do a whole lot about that. I, okay, med kit, med kit. I still got one med kit left. I got one shot. Dodge. He's gonna probably double dash. Oh, he he is better at that now. A lot better. He can do another couple of with projectiles. That's fine. Can't even get my words out. Med kit. We are down to my last med kit. Or I don't have any med kits. Oh. 
Ooh. Is that it? Is that it? I'm gonna keep on striking him. Is that it? Have we done it? Oh god. Okay, so we have been battling this core this entire time. We're not fighting the monster. We've been fighting the core. The thing that's been showing to us in our visions. Down to our very last med kit. A few hit points left and are no ammo left. My god, that was... Oh, I only died like, what, four or five times in a row? Um, I think I need to get out of here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. I'm, I'm getting out of here. I'm running. <laughs> the, the debris is falling. I'm coughing too much. I'm dying. Give me that med kit. Give me the health. Please. I, I can't get it. I can't get it. Give me it. Give me it. I, I can't even grab it. I can't even grab it. It's not gonna let me. All right, that's fine. Just keep on moving down. Anubis. Anubis. Yes, lead the way out. I have one health left. I have literally defeated him by the skin of my teeth. Teeth don't have skin. If, if, if they do, that's probably just plaque. You, you need to see the dentist or, you know, just brush your teeth better. But that's besides the point. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Um, You know, what? I'm going to do the thing again where I'm just going to stop talking. I'm going to let you guys experience this along with me because this is all still very interesting. guy you know just watching something like that the uh the background music the, the the feeling of it all it just it really actually has brought a couple of tears to my eyes you know not not no huge waterworks but it definitely brings a tear to my eye that the entire thing is just environmental storytelling and they did a great job there at the end a feeling of like you need to escape you've defeated the plague or you've defeated the evil that has been plaguing this land and this thing that's been making people sick of all these monsters and and issues that are going on around these all different parts of the land in general the continent the giant diamond that's in the sky or whatever that's been kind of just <sighs> giving the making everyone sick and just, I, there's, I, I'm at a loss for words you know as a game this came out in 2016 and it has done a fantastic job it has held up great to its time even to now you know it is eight years old and it is still just as much of a joy to play there is secrets all over the place. I really do wish that we could have unlocked more secrets, found out more about the game. But you know, as a small channel, didn't really get a lot of comments on trying to explain some of this to me because I don't want to spoil it to myself in terms of like going to look up a Wikipedia. I want the game to express to me in its own formats, the way the developers intended it to. And you know, it's it's been a real joy. I've always been a, a big fan of roguelites in general. Where you kind of get the sense of just being able to jump into a game and you know, hit some enemies, get, get some power ups, just keep on trying and trying again. I guess it's not necessarily fully like a roguelike in, a, in you know the true sense, but it felt like it. And the pixel art, the atmospheric telling of everything, each region had its own environment in which you just felt it had its own ambiance to it. You know, the eastern aqueducts really did feel artsy and had some nice, you know vines growing everywhere he saw a lot of the elder gods and robots you know strewn about and rusted away the northern misty tops of the birds and seen above everyone else and seen out in the distance of all the other 
you know, dilapidated structures to even like the forest of mystery and down to the south of deserts of all the hard bosses to fight. This game really has been ab it's been an absolute joy to play. You know, I, I do wish that maybe more people got to see it along with me, but at the end of the day, I still enjoyed it. And to those of you who have watched alongside with me, I hope you all enjoyed it too, because this has definitely touched my heart in a special way. You know, and I, you know, I'd hate to say, I really do wish we got more of the secrets along the way, but I'm sure that there are other videos out there if you ever really wanted to go take a look at maybe if there's a true ending or what this secret means and all that fun stuff. It's been up for quite a while, like I said, so you can definitely, you know, go find those out. But in terms of my own playthrough, coming on through along with you guys, it has been a fantastic journey. It even led to a couple of other videos, even that rant, you know, during that live stream that I posted a few days ago. Um, uh, you know, I... I, I don't know, I, I think that the soundscape as well, that the music has always been, it always fit the mood, like each region had had a little bit of its own music, even down to the very final bit there against the, the last boss, you know, the, the final runes, the music is what can make a game, it's what music can what be, is what makes a scene, it's what makes a movie, it's what makes art, it's what makes anything, music plays in a, a an absolute important parts to every creation to something that can just really set the mood and just invokes all these feelings they have along the way even now in, in these credit scenes a nice calming piano after a, you know a very hard fought boss battle there it really just feels like as though you're just melancholy you know like what do i do with my life now it's like almost like after you watch a long tv series you know you finish it and you just kind of have that feeling of like oh it's uh it's over well what was i doing before this you know it's um it really blows me away and i cannot thank you guys enough for watching along with me um I, i'm probably gonna play it a little bit maybe in my spare time too, try to figure some more things out along the way but uh what is gonna be coming up next on the channel you know there are I'm not entirely certain. I'm at a weird point in the channel where I may want to take a small break and I want to research heavily on what it is that you guys want to see. I want to research my audience. I want to research the videos that you guys are clicking. I want to research more of where the traffic flow is coming from. I want to research what you guys want. I want to research where you guys are coming from. I want to research what you guys are enjoying. And then I'll take that information and try to see what I can also enjoy at the same point. If you guys like a lot of roguelikes and kind of other kind of indie games, and you know, I can still find stuff like that. I can figure out better titles. I can figure out better thumbnails and all that stuff. And you know, I even have an idea for the thumbnail. I've not created the thumbnail for this video yet. And it's probably just gonna be very bland of the grand finale. It's just gonna be straightforward right on to it, you know? And um, I, I, I thank you for sticking along with the channel. Thank you for sticking along with me as a creator. I am still a human being. I still work a full-time job. I come home. And I make content not because of the aspect of maybe one day being rich and famous. No, I do it because I enjoy it. From the short movies that I've made and the series has been continuing to the music that's, that I've made, the first original song and working on a second song as we speak, to even the in-between projects and the stupid videos of just, you know, of like the one of just have fun of me dancing around. Honestly, it is all just a joy to be making content for you guys. And it always will be and it always has been. It can be a chore sometimes, but at the end of the day, I love to create in one form or another, whether it's daily videos or if it goes to weekly video or monthly video, whatever it goes to. I cannot thank all of you guys enough. I know probably for like the third time at this point, right? But, you know, if I made you, you there is a little bit of egotism to it. If I made stuff, but nobody ever got to see it, I could make all these videos and just keep them on my computer and never upload them. But the fact that you guys stick along with it really does mean something to me. And I, 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 there's a lot of atoms. Um, A, O, A, 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 O, A, M. Okay. Those are, that's like a company. I'm like, those are all atoms. <laughs> like, there's a lot of atoms at your company. <laughs> Two, like, how do you, <laughs> you walk into a room, you walk into the development room and it's like, oh, hey, Adam. And they just all turn their head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh God, you know, I'm beside myself at this point. My my mind is fried. It's been a long day and just to come home and then record this, I, 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 I'm a little bit teary eyed. I don't know, something about the emotion of everything coming to a completion, a finale of anything really does make me cry just a little bit because it's just how touching it was. 
But you know what? Um, I, I guess I'm just going to leave you guys off from here. So thank you, DigiDs. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I always ramble on for way too long. But if there's one thing, I can always and will always guarantee you that I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.